Okay, we're going to go over an example here in the ISIM virtual appliance and show you how to enable some logging and download your support file. So here you can see the web browser is running on a URL that points to the administrative interface for the image. We log in with our user and we are prompted with the configuration screen here that shows us our server control, our middleware status, our cluster status if you're running more than one, and in this example we're just running one member of our virtual appliance. So on the left hand side here you'll see the uh, middleware server monitor shows us that our identity store which is our database is started and running. It shows us our directory server which is the LDAP server that hosts the information is running. It'll show us here that our cluster manager server started and our actual actual server is started. Um, in here it shows me we have our primary that's running and there is an error for synchronization state and it's because the second member is not running. So that's the configuration of that. When we go in and look at the logging what we can do here is we go to the manage the interface and then we go back over to support files. This is the actual setting that will generate the support.zip file which you'll send to IBM in order to diagnose your problem or for you to look at your logging. What we'll do here is we'll create a new one and this is going to be uh, log demo and we'll say save the configuration and at this point it is creating a support zip file that we'll be able to download and look at. It'll contain all of the log files and the rotated log files that's set in the VA for the appliance. So in this case your security identity manager appliance version 702 here is creating a log folder zip package that you will send to IBM support in regards to any troubleshooting you're trying to do or it'll be a place for you to look at the files instead of looking at only the current log file if you navigate the user interface and find the logging for the admin. So in just a second here this file will be generated. Okay, at this moment the log has been generated and now we have an ISIM 702 with the version tells us our appliance and it tells us that there's a zip file here that was created. Select the file, select download. This will be a local file that you'll save. We will save this file. Once you extract the content of the zip file that we created, you'll notice the IBM support folder. Go ahead and unzip that. The content of that will have an additional file. You can unzip that and the content of that will have the log directory. Once you will go into that you'll see the current trace log and you'll see the rolled over trace logs which by default the system has defined and you can change the configuration of the sizes. So here you'll find the older files.